What's going on guys, this is John Zakari, and today I want to talk about the Destiny beta that just kicked off yesterday for the PS3 and PS4. If you're unaware, Destiny is sort of an MMO FPS made by Bungie, the creators of Halo, and it feels sort of like a combination between Halo and Borderlands. The beta has three classes to choose from and a decent amount of customization options to help you make your character look unique. Then you're promptly dropped into the action. The first thing you'll notice is this game is beautiful with a great attention to detail, allowing this gritty, sci-fi, post-apocalyptic world to come to life. One of the things I really like about exploring and doing missions in this game is that the planets are split into different sections that you zone into rather than just being a giant map to explore. While some may think they want just one big area where they can go anywhere, I think back to Planetside 2 and how that giant open world typically results in endless driving with no other players in sight as you try to get to a place where something's actually happening. And these areas are still pretty vast, sometimes requiring you to use a speeder bike to get where you need to go. By sectioning areas off, it's easy to run into people that are your level doing the quests you're doing and to team up, as tackling these missions with a group is much more fun than going in solo. But that doesn't mean going in alone isn't fun. One of my biggest pet peeves with MMOs is it's hard to create any atmosphere. During serious moments, there's always some guy jumping around, acting like an idiot, breaking any and all immersion. Luckily, most of the Destiny missions I've played so far have instant sections where you're essentially in your own area, either alone or with your party, with no other players around. This gives Bungie a lot of opportunities to create some cool moments, and they really take advantage. Lots of motion ahead. I've got a bad feeling about this. This mission style of gameplay makes it feel like you're playing the campaign of an FPS rather than mindlessly grinding rat teeth or something else more akin to the early hours of an MMO. And leveling in this game feels like a big deal, at least so far, as you're not just getting some small stat boosts, but unlocking new items and mechanics, such as grenades and my favorite, the rocket jump. And when you're not out blasting bad guys, you can go to the tower, the game's hub world. Here you can get new gear and quests, as well as find players to form parties with. Again, I like the rather small size here, as sometimes in MMOs, you can find yourself getting lost in towns looking for that one NPC who has that one item you need. Everything here is placed relatively close together and clearly identified to reduce the time you spend just aimlessly running around. And that's what I feel is kind of the theme of the whole game. Bungie wants to trim the fat when it comes to the monotony of MMORPGs and keep the players in the action and most importantly having fun as often as possible. With massive games like this, it's easy to have fun in the early days, but things can get old quickly. Only by putting more time into the game can we know if this is enough to keep us busy for months on end. But for now, I think the game is a blast and encourage fans of both FPS and MMO genres to check it out. Well, that just about wraps things up for this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for future gaming content. Also, check out some of my past videos and follow me on Twitter at Johnny Zakari. As always, I'm John Zakari. And thanks for watching.